Yeah, 12 hour shifts, life and death situations, really takes it out of you. Which is uh, why we really let loose when we get time off, you know? Mm. Work hard and play hard. Whoa, some more drinks, ladies? Sure. Not going so well tonight, eh? No, we're good. Look, buy me another gin and tonic and I'll help you out. No. A couple of words from me and I guarantee you'll score. And if you don't, I'll give you your five bucks back and I'll buy your next one. What do you got to lose? No. Too harsh on this and whatever this guy's drinking. Sure. Wise man. Now watch. Hey, Doc. Heard what you guys did today. Nice work. Uh, the emergency subnormal wrecked a lot of me. Oh, not all of us could do that with a pen knife and a rubber hose. <laughs> I swear, these guys are legends. And so was the patient. Big name in prime time sport. Wouldn't want it broadcast that he'd had that particular item removed. <laughs> <laughs> really? What is a sub thingy otome? Oh, I, I could tell you, but then I think you'd be very sorry that you asked. And as for drooling over those famous chisel buttocks, it's uh, Michael Harlow, by the way. Oh, this is Cindy and Mandy. How do you do? And it's Dr. Harlow. He taught us everything we know. It was a complete disaster, and I thought, that's right. This is why I don't get involved with people I work with. <laughs> What was Craig's problem, anyway? Oh, I don't know. I think he has some issues. A bit of a misogynist, hang? Hey? Or it could be that I'm hopeless with men. Oh, it's hard to believe you're hopeless at anything. <laughs> I'm serious. I really admire you. You're a doctor. A good one. And you're so young. Mm, I'll have a drink with you anytime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought about being a doctor. Going to med school, you know. Oh, why didn't you? Mm, didn't really feel up to tackling the old boys' network. Yeah, it wasn't easy. But hey, look at you. You're doing it and you're winning. I think it's amazing. <laughs> um, I'm not starting till tonight. I could look after Harry so you could get some rest. I'm working. Are you sure that's a good idea? How many times do I have to say I'm okay? All's well that ends well, right? Better wake that child of mine, get him off to take you. Tony. Hi. Hi. Um, I won't stay, I just, I wanted to drop these around. Thank you. Nick and I have been thinking about you all night. This really means a lot. Thank you. We just want you to know that none of what Dom did changes how we feel about you. We all still love you, and you are not to worry about what anyone says or thinks. And I know that won't be easy. Uh, Waverly, um, Tony needs to get Harry off to daycare. He's been having a bit of a sleep in. All right. I'll, I'll see you later. We'll give you a ring. Let you know when we can fit you in. Thanks. See you in a couple of weeks. Who was that? Melanie Leon. A patient? Correct. Then why wasn't the cafe having coffee when I should have been here for the consult? Because you're lazy? Because you didn't page me. You should page me for every consultation. How else am I supposed to learn? I hardly think they're missing one consult. It's a sabotage. It's because I didn't have a drink with you last night. It's rubbish. Then why else would you deliberately keep me out of the loop? She wants an upper bleed for a place. Do you know what that is? She wants to get her eyelids done. She wants to look less Asian. I wasn't sure how you'd feel about that. Why would I care what she wants done to her eyelids? I was just... I'm a doctor. Not an Asian doctor, not a woman doctor, just a doctor. Remember that. Oh, poor love. She must be going through hell and trying hard not to show it. She reckons she's coming into work today. Morning, Sarah. Morning. I mean, it's just charming, isn't it? Sorry? We're all supposed to be adults here, but oh no, we just can't... Ugh, doesn't matter. Is there something going on with you and Andrew? No, no, God no, not anymore. But look, don't listen to me. 
I'll just regret it all later. Okay. <sighs> In a strange mood. Hearing about Dom really shook me up. What did he think I was going to do? Tell the woman she shouldn't have surgery? Yeah, but I can see why he thought you'd find it offensive. I mean, I find it offensive. Why? She wants to have her Chinese-ness eradicated. She's totally rejecting her own race. So what? Don't you care? I'm a New Zealander now, Norman. A Chinese New Zealander. A plain old New Zealander. If I never hear another word of Mandarin again, I wouldn't care. Sorry I'm late. I had a bit of trouble getting Harif to take you. I wasn't actually expecting you in today. I've arranged cover. I never said I wasn't coming in. I know, but under the circumstances... I'm here to do my job. I'll be in ED, OK? Yeah, well, all I know is he took off from the psych unit and he ended up out in the country with Chris Warner. Well, there's a story in the paper this morning, but it won't tell you anything more than that. Oh, Tony! Hey, um, can I ask you a hypothetical question? Yeah, shoot. Sure. What would you think if you heard of a Samoan who was having surgery make himself look less Samoan? Wouldn't happen. Why mess with the perfection? <laughs> no, 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 seriously, would you be offended? Oh, I really wouldn't care. We're not all related. Yeah, okay, then what about your kids, you know? Wanted to do the whole Michael Jackson thing, the bleach skin, those job that works. Ooh, that's just sick, bro. But would you be shamed out? Well, yeah, man, big time. But don't worry about it, Norm. I'll teach my kids to walk tall. I believe you. All right, Barbara. See you. Oh, hey, we should call the newspapers and tell them that the cops got the wrong man. I don't think so. That could just complicate things. Mm. No, we have to concentrate on getting Victor out of there as soon as possible. And once that happens, we can sing it from the rooftops. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen him. He was so happy. Yeah, Thomas said. Yeah, well, the only downside to all of this is that the man that deserves to be locked up won't be. What, you reckon Dom took the easy way out? Yes, I'd rather he was rotting in jail. Well, let's just hope that his death was long and painful, huh? Tell Ma. Oh, no, I know that sounds horrible. The damage that that man caused. Yeah, he totally deserved that. I'm really sorry. I'll talk to you later. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to say, though. How much longer is this going to go on, Andrew? Pretending I don't exist. This is stupid. We both have to work together. And you know damn well how I feel about that. Just remember that the first opportunity to get rid of you, I'll be taking it. Look, all I'm asking is that you let me buy you a coffee so we can talk. Are you stupid? I don't want to have anything to do with you. Well, you know how you told me about Craig? It seems he and Andrew must have read the same book about how to treat women. Well, don't put up with it. Stand up to him. Oh, no. I hate drama. I'll just do my best to stay out of his way. 